Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the introduction to my spring project use it up. You guys, I'm so excited to introduce these new scents. I've been craving some of them. I actually have five scent combos that I'm gonna be putting in to the spring project and I'm really hoping to use up a lot. So for the scent combos, I actually have two fruity scents, two vanilla scents, and one coffee scent. I feel like this coffee um, scented shower routine is gonna be something that stays in all of my projects because I've really been taking more morning showers and this coffee scented morning shower routine is like so much fun to me and really helps me wake up in the mornings. So I think the coffee scents are gonna be here to stay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my scent combos. Okay, so up first is strawberry pound cake. You guys, I've been craving this one so bad recently. So I figured what better time to put it in the project than in the spring. So I am putting in a full size strawberry pound cake Fine Fragrance Mist, this is unused. I just bought it like last week. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I'm so excited to use this. I was craving it pretty much all winter long. And then for the lotion, I'm also putting in strawberry pound cake. This is from the fall. Um, really, it doesn't matter to me, the packaging. As long as it's strawberry pound cake, I'm excited to use it. So that's this one. And then for shower gel, I'm actually gonna put in one from Philosophy, and this is Strawberry Guava Coconut. I just picked this up, I believe, from TJ Maxx, and I think these are $12.99, I wanna say, but this is unused, I haven't even tested it yet, so it's all the way up at the top. It smells really delicious. I'm excited to use it in the shower to see how it performs, but it kinda smells like a strawberry milkshake. It smells so good, so I'm really excited to start using this one and kind of get my strawberry berry fix for spring. Now, alongside that, I do have another fruity scented routine that I'm gonna put in. And this one is actually just coming in from the winter project. And that is this combo right here. So we have champagne toast, enchanted candy potion, and my Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume. So I will show you enchanted candy potion right here in the body cream. The notes are spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. It's basically just a sugared berry scent. It's really yummy. I am about right here on the packaging and I've been really enjoying this in the uh, body cream. And I feel like if I'm gonna be finishing up body cream, it's gonna be in the spring. Summertime, I really don't enjoy body cream because it's too hot here in Texas and I just can't handle it. So I'm gonna try and finish this one off. I feel like I definitely can because I'm super you know, I'm close to finishing it off, so hopefully in the next month or two I can finish this one. And for spray, I'm putting in Champagne Toast. This one I'm more than halfway done. I'm right here on the packaging, so I'm hoping to finish this completely in the spring project, and that would be my first mist of 2023 to finish. But I do love Champagne Toast. I'm just hoping to get a lot of progress on this one. And for this Winter Wishes perfume, I literally have such a little amount left. I have this much left. And it is kind of like a fruity, fruity berry floral scent. So I feel like it'll go really well with Champagne Toast. So that is the perfume. And then I'm bringing back the Hot Mess Express Onyx Bathhouse Foaming Sugar Scrub. This is in the scent um, Pomegranate and Honey. I love this one. It smells delicious in the shower. It just smells like honey to me, honestly. And I'm about two thirds of the way through the scrub. So I definitely plan on finishing this up in the spring project. It smells so good and I really enjoy this coarse scrub maybe once or twice a week and I really, really love it. So I'm definitely gonna finish this one off. Now let's move on to the vanilla scents. So I have two scent sets that I'm gonna be putting in. The first being whipped vanilla chiffon and this uh, body lotion from Victoria's Secret in basic vanilla from Victoria's Secret Pink. So I have whipped vanilla chiffon in the fine fragrance mist this one I did use last spring and I absolutely adored it as a spring scent. So on the mist, I am right about here. I'm almost halfway. So I definitely want to finish this one off in the spring project as well. It is just such a yummy scent. It is discontinued and I believe this is from 2021. So definitely going to work on this one. And then the shower gel has the scent notes on it. So I'll read those to you. It is wild vanilla beans, spun sugar, and white peach blossom. So it's just a tiny little hint of not even floral. I wouldn't call the white peach blossom floral. It's like, I can't, I can't even describe it, but it is such a wonderful scent. It says, enjoy a warm spring day and float away in a whipped vanilla breeze. So that's really what it is. It's whipped vanilla with like a slight 
floral fruity to it. Um, but here's the shower gel, completely unused, so it's all the way up at the top. I actually got this at SAS and it was a try me, but it still had the, um, the packaging on it, like this shrink wrap plastic on it. So I asked the associate if I could buy it and she let me buy it. So I did pick this up, I think at the summer SAS in 2022 and this one was made in 2021. Yeah, so I believe this originally came out in the spring of either 2020 or 2021 as like the Mother's Day line. So that's what it's originally from, but I picked this up at SAS. And then as a lotion to go with it, I have this Victoria's Secret Pink 24 hour moisture body lotion in basic vanilla. The notes are vanilla marshmallow and warm chai. So this one I picked up randomly um, while I was picking up some lingerie for a, I wanna call it a hen party, but that's what they call it in the UK for a bachelorette party. Um, I just like picked this one up because it was on sale, but it says it's a pure vanilla obsession infused with fireside cozy. Honestly, I don't get cozy. It doesn't really invoke fall for me. I've never used a Victoria's Secret pink body lotion before, but it's definitely more of a lotion formula in a body cream packaging, but it's just kind of like a gentle vanilla. And I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this one when I'm feeling like I wanna be kind of cozy and have a very gentle soft scent. This will be really good. So I'm excited to try it out test out this formula and see how I like it um, before I buy any more pink body lotions. But yeah, excited to try this one out. And then the next vanilla combo that I'm putting in is something I've been absolutely obsessed with and that is Wrapped in Vanilla. You guys know this was in the winter project as well. I'm just head over heels for this scent. The notes are soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. So I have it in the shower gel and we are about right here on the packaging. So I've gotten maybe a third of the way through it and it's so yummy it is just a wonderful vanilla icing scent it is so yummy in the body cream i'm almost done with it i'm all the way down here you guys so we are starting off in a really good point i'm probably going to finish this off this week so that one is the body cream and then the fine fragrance mist we are right here not planning on finishing this one up because i want to savor it for next year but I will definitely continue to use it while I finish off the shower gel and the body cream. And then as a perfume, I'm putting in my Kaoli Vanilla 28 little mini perfume. I am a little more than halfway done with this thing and I wanna finish it off so I can buy the full size bottle because I absolutely adore this one. I've kind of been hoarding it and not using it just to like savor it and save it for as long as possible, but I really wanna buy the full bottle. So I'm gonna treat myself once I finish off the little mini and buy the full size bottle. It is so yummy, such a wonderful vanilla scent. I'm like so excited to put this in the project because I know I'm gonna use it every single day. And then for the coffee scent routine, I'm switching it up a little bit from the winter project. It's still gonna be Midnight Amber Glow and Vanilla Mocha Cream, but I switched it up a little bit. So first off, I have the Creme Shop X Hello Kitty Caramel Pumpkin Latte Body Scrub. This one was in the winter project as well, and I'm about halfway on the usage of this one. This is a very unique kind of scrub because it's actually like a body mask and a scrub at the same time. So you're supposed to scrub it in and then leave it on your body for a couple minutes and then wash it off. So this is a really fun kind of product to use in the shower. And this is what it looks like. It's like a smoothie almost. It's not really like any other scrub I've ever tried and I really enjoy this. I think it's just something fun to use in the shower, especially like in the mornings when I don't know, I need a little pick me up and a little treat. So that is this one. I'm definitely gonna have it finished off in the next couple of months. And then I am putting in the Midnight Amber Glow Shower Gel. I really just wanna get into my Midnight Amber Glow vibe because I've been loving this scent. So the notes on this are Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon, and I'm completely at the top. I don't think I've used this before. Oh, and it just smells so good. So I'm really excited to use Midnight Amber Glow. And then for lotion, I'm putting in Vanilla Mocha Cream in the Body Cream. Um, this one's from 2021, so I want to finish it off just because it is going on two years two years old. Um, this is from winter of 2021, so I'm just going to work on it, not really like focusing on it, but working on it kind of in the background to hopefully finish it up in the next couple of months, um, just because I don't want it to go bad on me. Um, it is already yellow, but it's not really changing texture or anything, so it's still good. But yeah, this is vanilla mocha cream. The notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. Um, I found that Midnight Amber Glow and Vanilla Mocha Cream go really well together. And this is also the same thing as Vanilla Mocha Martini. 
and Vanilla Mocha Cafe. So these are all, that's all the same scents, if you didn't know. And for mist, I'm putting in Mini Amber Glow in the Little Fine Fragrance Mist Mini, and I am right here on the packaging. I'll probably finish off this mini. Um, not really focusing on it, but I do want to finish it off in the spring. Okay, so that is the introduction for my spring project. Use it up. I am going to set a goal to finish off 15 products for the spring project. I finished off 14 in the winter, so I feel like 15 is definitely doable. And I did put in 18 products so far, so... I think besides the fine fragrance mist, I can probably finish off everything else in the project. So I'm really excited about that. I have some lofty goals that I'm gonna kind of set for myself. And I guess that means I should be finishing off five products per month because this project will go from March to April to May. And then in June will be the summer project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction. Let me know down below what scents you are looking forward to using this spring. I'm really curious if you're using some new scents at Bath & Body Works. If you've transitioned into like full-blown tropical and coconut, let me know down below. I want to hear what you guys are using. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!